The second longest winning streak in NBA history is still alive, 22 and counting. Tracy McGrady and the Rockets, 22 in a row. Final seconds, Anderson, the Houston Rockets have won their second consecutive NBA championship. They have swept the Orlando Magic. This one is over in four. The Lakers knocked the Rockets off. Charles Barkley played heroically in defeat throughout the series. Charles is walking off. You know he's disappointed. He's been looking for that championship ring. It will not happen again this year. With the second pick in the 1999 NBA draft, the Vancouver Grizzlies select Steve Francis from the University of Maryland. With Hurricane Scotty blown out west, Texas skies cleared on Monday. Their bizarre year-long dance with Scottie Pippen over. The Houston Rockets welcome Steve Francis, looking to put the Charles Barkley-Pippen feud behind them. Barkley is fouled by Shaq. Doesn't like it. Barkley throws the ball at Shaq. And then, a do -si do and away they go. A big-time fracas. But with 4.09 remaining in the first quarter, Sir Charles ruptured the quadriceps tendon in his left knee. The injury will take at least six months to rehab, which means that for all intents and purposes, Barkley has played his last game in the NBA. You have to go back to the 83, 84 season, of course, when the Rockets had 14 wins. Like, oh, Steve Francis! Oh, oh, oh. He had Troy Hudson turning around and around like a top. Take a look at the starting lineups now for Houston. Taylor Elijuan and Walt Williams. Shandon Anderson and Steve Francis. A bit of concern offensively for Houston, and it's been a little concern now if they're out on the court. Gets it off to Francis again. Francis on the drive. Takes the ball to the hoop. Score it. Francis has three things going for him. He's quick, he can elevate, and he's strong. And he can get the ball up at the basket. With the seventh pick in the 2001 NBA Draft, the New Jersey Nets select Eddie Griffin from City Hall University. At center, seven foot from Houston, number 34, Hakeem the Dream Elijah. A testament to show you know, how far I've came as far as uh, learning the game of basketball in the NBA. Um, also, the developing myself to, you know, just to become a leader on this team. You know, it, it didn't just come overnight. Making his first NBA All-Star appearance, 6'3 guard from the Houston Rockets, Steve Bradson. Stockton with 12 points. Uh, the score, 92. We're tied. Two seconds. Right side for three. Francis, he made it. He made it with one second left. One tenth of a second. Unbelievable. It is the unknown. And when you have the number one pick uh, to take a gamble like that is very difficult. Uh, I think he will be one or two or three in that in that area. Uh, so someone will take that gamble. And I think they should. With the first pick in the 2002 NBA draft, the Houston Rockets select Yao Ming from Shanghai, China and the Shanghai Sharks. Yao Ming gets 19 points in the game this year. I'm going to kiss his ass right here in well, front he had, of everybody. He had 12 points. <laughs> he said, he said that Yao Ming was the best player in Houston. He had 12 points and 18 rebounds. No, that was Sean Bradley. Jack, Jack, clearing the way inside. Ah! Yao Ming blocked it! Like away from the basket. It's O'Neal. Locked by Ming again! Timeout Rocket. Tremendous play. What a block. From the Houston Rockets, selected as an all-star starter in his first NBA season, seven foot five center, Yao Ming. Keep the ball hopping. Yao Ming working on Wallace again, takes it inside. Oh, baby, he slams it over Big Ben. That's what you call attitude. That's an attitude, Bill. There's a lot of pressure on myself, and that's how it should be, and it's a good pressure. Uh, because you can't run away from expectations. Your choice is to meet them or exceed them, and we're going to try to exceed the expectations that we have. 
Biggest, both in size and popularity, is right here in the Lone Star State. The biggest three letters in professional basketball have always been NBA. This season it's a tie with YAO. Yo. Mobley, tough shot. Good defense from Reggie. Oh, 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 nice pass oh, oh, oh. from Yao. Setting up Kato. Kato's had two field goals on some beautiful passes. And as I look across to Seco Field, I can see Larry Bird. And the Los Angeles Lakers advance to the second round. And for the Houston Rockets, their season has come to a conclusion. It's an impressive first round series win for the Lakers over the Rockets. Uh, whatever I have to do to sacrifice uh, for us to be a great player, that's what I'm going to do. I'm willing to do whatever. And hopefully uh, I could come here and, uh, you know, do what I did, uh, but try to do it better and uh, turn this uh, franchise around. And Dikembe is, you know, 52, 53 years old, you think? I'm trying to think. Is he the oldest player in the league, Hal? He's in the top three. You think of Cliff Robinson is up there, Kevin Willis, Dikembe Mutombo. He's older than Cliff. He's only 25 years old, so he's got... He's right in the middle of the prime of his career, and he's the third youngest player in NBA history to claim multiple scoring titles. Only Wilt Chamberlain and Bob McAdoo. Timeout commanded by Brady for the win! Yes! 13 points in 33 seconds! And he never had a doubt that he was going to pull up from three and go for the win, and why not? Then field goal defense, and that says a lot. Here comes McCready! Oh, he just sucked the gravity right out of the building! What a play by T-Man! How about the passion? Look at the animation on Tracy McGrady. I had a little help tonight. Uh, I had some guys that stepped up big for me, and uh, we played with a sense of urgency tonight, and, uh, you know, it was either win or go home, and we definitely don't want to go home right now, so we came out, and uh, we played big. Why not? 40-point game. Kevin, I cannot believe it. I thought the first game was a blowout. 40-point win for Dallas. Do you feel like you're a great fit under Van Gundy's system? I mean, you, you seem like you're one of his kind of guys. Oh, definitely. I love playing with Coach. I love the way he pushes me, and I think that's the type of coach I've, I've needed my entire life. The discipline, but also the guy that can get the best out of you. The team with and without Tracy McGrady. Well, that lets you know how much superstars really mean yeah, in this yeah. league. <laughs> you know, obviously, uh, you know, his, back, <laughs> his back was giving him problems early on. Big difference when T-Mac is on the floor versus when he's not. Rockets struggled at home. Some could be because of injury. They've gone 3-14 uh, and 14 when either T-Mac or Yao Ming is out of that lineup. So clearly injury has played a huge part. Especially for a team that a lot of people thought would be a contender in the West this year. Monday night of the Miami net game. Yao Ming stopped by Morty Yao on the stuff and the foul. It is getting personal. He gets the second shot gathered. And when you look at what Shane Battier is going to give you, I know he's solid. I'm not knocking him by any stretch of the imagination. But you need some points playing for Jeff Van Gundy. And this is a guy that can get it for you, can help you get some more. You make this move, I don't like it. I really want to taste what the, the big stage is all about. Phenomenal playoff series in the first round. But I want to taste that big stage. You know, hopefully this is our year. And uh, I'm definitely going to work my butt off to, to try to get us there. Grady. And the Rockets! Tom Hill oh. gets it up and it's out of the game against Houston. Yeah. Everybody's down. I think Yao is down, he's hurt. Thomas is down, Hayes is down, and Yao is writhing in pain. Gone three and a half minutes without scoring. Yao Main with a block! And Austin back the other way. He lost control of the ball momentarily. Yao Main down the lane! It's a Yao Main snow! It's over! And the Houston Rockets hold serve. The Rockets win the first two games at home. And now we're off to Salt Lake City. Yao Ming with 27 points, 9 rebounds. If I don't make it out of the first round this year, it'll be a disappointment. How far we go is riding on my shoulders. It's on me. If we don't get out of the first round, it's on me. Wait a minute. If we don't get out of the first round this year, it's on me. I try, man. I try. Alexander thought, you know, there may be better ways to build better mousetraps. 
after serving his apprenticeship, if you will, under Carol Dawson. Daryl Morey was earmarked as the next leader of basketball operations. To play the way we want to play, the same token is my responsibility to tweak it in a way that is going to make them feel like they're having success, they're having some fun. If you do that, you're going to enjoy winning, and winning is what it's all about. You know, I got picked at 26, uh, you know, surprisingly, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad to be here. You know, it's a great situation, great fit, you know, great, great group of guys. It's a winning team, but not only a winning team, but you get the big fella, you get Yao and you get T-Mac. Yeah, of course, when you want to pick it up, you always look for a team where you can play, where you can win games. You know, the Rockets gave up a couple of huge offensive rebounds that ended up killing them. So those two guys, they're obviously superstars, but they've yet to prove that they're good enough to get out of the first round. Rick Adelman takes over for Jeff Van Gundy. Will this be the year T-Mac and Yao get out of the first round? He's very frustrated, so he throws a towel after he's, after he's fouled out of the game. That's where he gets the technical right there and gets ejected. Derek Richardson ejects Yao Ming, and so Yao's got to leave the game after he's already fouled out. Yao is out for the rest of the year? Yes. Oh my goodness. When something other than the game is the big story, but unfortunately tonight, that is one of those cases. Yao Ming will not play the rest of this season. The second longest winning streak in NBA history is still alive, 22 and counting. Tracy McGrady and the Rockets, 22 in a row. The Rockets, title contenders, or pretender. They're clearly a contender. You've got a team that's confident that you've got to deal with. They play such great defense, Josh. They're going to continue to be a contender as we move forward toward the playoffs and into the postseason. McGrady against Hassel. Got a big pick by Yao. Did the look away feed to Luis Scola for the layup. Yeah, good look that time. Dallas was trying to rotate. Scola snuck in along the baseline. Good pass by McGrady. First points tonight. And that is all as the Jazz win game six convincingly and move on to the next round to take on the Los Angeles Lakers. The Rockets go home, losing in the first round again. I just want to reassure all the fans in Houston that I'm working hard this summer. I'm really looking forward to playing for the, the organization and uh, giving 100% every single game, night in, night out. They've got guys now like Luis Scola, Aaron Brooks. They've got guys that are now contributing at a much higher level for this team offensively. That's something they've struggled with in the past, but this is their this is their blueprint for winning games, Jalen, the way they did it tonight. Grizzlies participate as well, and they're going to get a first-round pick from Orlando in this deal, and Houston gets Kyle Lowry back from Memphis, Brian Cook from Orlando, and they'll probably be another player or two added just to balance out the math. Tracy McGrady will have surgery on his injured knee and will miss the rest of the season. He's had persistent pain in the knee and says he'll have microfracture surgery. His scoring numbers have gradually decreased while his health issues have increased. Brooks gets a double team. Yao from the top. Scott! Yes! And the Rockets have taken the lead! What a pass from Yao Ming! That's just great execution, great preparation by Rick Adamant. Seven for Ray for Alston. His release is not the same. Henry gets it down to Yao and he throws it up and it goes in! He's got his arm and he can't shoot it right-handed, so Yao puts it up left-handed. Matumbo, I'm not sure if it's a left knee, and he's calling immediately for the bench as Mikembe Matumbo is down and hurting and holding his left knee. The Houston Rockets have not won a playoff series since 1997. Since then, they've had five opportunities to win a series with one more win. Houston has dropped all five of those games by an average of nearly 20 points. Now is down. Gasol finishes off. And holding his knee, as you can see, that is not a good sign. Reza and Gasol. Yao, Yao Ming puts it in from outside. He's going to go directly to the locker room. So Keith Jones, their head athletic trainer, greets him right away. So tough and so proud, does not want to come out, wants to be there for his team. Lakers hopes of an NBA championship still alive yeah. as they survive against a really tough Houston Rockets team and now advance to the Western Conference Finals. Ron Artest, who's actually a year younger than Kobe Bryant, joining the Lake Show. Averaged 16 points for his career, shooting 42% from the floor. From beyond the arc, he shot 34% for his career. 
The career of NBA star Yao Ming could be threatened by a foot injury. The seven foot six center for the Houston Rockets broke his foot. The injury could cause Yao to miss next season and could threaten his career. Tracy McGrady will play the rest of the NBA season with the Knicks. The former NBA scoring champion was traded Thursday by the Rockets. McGrady had averaged 22.4 points and 5.7 assists in five seasons with the Rockets. Yao sounded far from optimistic about his future, saying, if the foot injury does not heal next season, I might choose to call it quits. Turns 30 in September, he missed last season following foot, foot surgery. Houston did not make the playoffs despite finishing with a 43 and 39 mark. In four seasons with Houston, Adelman was 193 and 135, leading the Rockets to their only playoff series victory since 1997. Basketball giant Yao Ming announced this morning that he is retiring. He told reporters in China today, the seven foot six center was drafted by the Houston Rockets in 2002, but injuries sidelined his career.